In the previous video, we've seen this equation. So this equation in 2D, in 2D, x, y, would then give us an ellipse. Uh, but then in 3D, in 3D, it would look like this, because uh, x is in play, x is in play, y is in play, the x axis, uh, the z axis is not in play. So you we would discard the z axis, and then uh, uh, on a flat surface, on a flat x, y surface, we would draw an ellipse, we would draw an ellipse. Because z is not in play, we would drag it in the z direction. So that would then give us a cylinder. So, uh, so, so this, in 3D, would give us this cylinder, and we've seen this in the previous video. In this video, we're going to look at this equation. So, so at the moment, this is a cylinder. So if you look at this, a cylinder is, is when it's uniform all the way through. So if you get a, if you get a knife and cut it along here, it will be, this distance will be the same as this distance. It will be the same as this distance. So if you get a knife and cut it along here, this distance will be the same as this distance. And this distance will be the same as, as, as this distance this distance and so on. It's uniform all the way through. That's why it's a cylinder. In this in with this equation, we are giving it the ability to alter or alter in the z direction. So what that means is here is a cylinder. This is not a cylinder because as you're dragging it up, as you're dragging it up, it, this thing here will gives will gives you the ability to change the uh, to change the uh, to change the width. So, so this thing gives us the ability. It should be symmetrical, but uh, it it then gives us the ability to uh, to change. Uh, well, it, it it then gives us the ability to change the width as we're dragging it up. So, so this is not uh, uh this is not a a cylinder, whereas this is a cylinder because it's uniform all the way through. This is not. This thing here is not. This thing here is not a cylinder. It's it's what's called a surface. It, the width changes as you're changing the height. As you, here, when you drag it up, when you when you're dragging it up, it stays uniform all the way through. But here, as you're dragging it up, as you're moving upwards in the z direction, the width changes. So this thing here is called the surface. This thing here is called the uh, the cylinder. So we are going to look at this in this video. Okay. So let's start. So, um, so when given this equation here. Let's put zero into uh, into the z. So discard uh, discard the z direction. Discard the um, the, uh, the z axis. So now we would look at this. Discard this. So this thing here, you can see that it's um, an ellipse. So uh, it has a width of a. So let's just it has a width of a. Let's just say it's here a negative a. This thing here is a. It, uh, and in in the y direction, it will have a width of b. So let's just say b. Is here b. This is negative b. So so when you discard the height, you're going to get an ellipse looking something like this. And then the next step would be to discard z. So discard z. And then if you look at this, discard z. Sorry, discard x. Then then you would discard x. Discard x. So you are just working in the x and y axis. So looking at this, it will have um, in the y direction. It will have b here. So this will be minus b, and then uh, uh, and then in in the z direction it would be c here, and it would be c here, and as a result it will look so it will give you uh, an an ellipse in the in the y z plane, and then the next step would be to to discard the y, and then if you look at this, so discard the y, discard the y, L looking at the x, let's just say a is here, uh, negative a. This thing here is a, and then uh, and then in the z direction it will be c, c, and then this one is negative c, and then as a result it will give you an ellipse looking something like this. So let's start again. So if you were to sketch this, uh, let, let's just say uh, looking at this a, let's just say this is a here, let's just say this is a here, and this is negative a, and then b, let's just say b is here, and then this will be negative. B. And then uh, C, let's just say C is here, C, and then this is negative C. So as a result, um, let, let, let's, let's, discard, uh, let's discard Z first. So discarding Z would then give us this. Discarding Z would then give us this. this. Remember, we are discarding the Z axis. So that would then give us this. Just working the X, Y plane 
you then give us this. Hang on, bear with me. A, A, and it goes to B, and it goes, it, 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 this thing here, imagine it's a perfect ellipse. And then, uh, and then now discard, discard X. So discard the X axis, discard the X axis, discard the X axis. In the, X, in the uh, Y, Z plane, it will give us an ellipse. Uh, y, Z plane, it will look something like this. It will look something like this. And then, uh, and then discard the Y. So discard the Y axis. Discard the Y axis. In the X, Z plane, it will look like this. Uh, hang on, let me think. Uh, X, Z, uh, it, it will look like this. This is X, Z, X, Z. So it will look like this. Okay, so, so what, what, what you, in 3D, what you have is like a 3D symmetrical egg shape thing. Um, it's, it's like an egg shape, but, it, but all symmetrical. So here's one I prepared earlier. It will look like this. So uh, this is called an ellipsoid. Okay.